an invasion hard point just to see where these players are at. Don't jinx it, love. Take two, boys and girls. Here we go. Into our first hard point of the series. Miami Heretics taking Optic Texas. We're going to invasion, and that man on your screen will see how he fares. Some have called him the face of the league. Here we go. And looking to do a couple different things off this opening break. Opening salvo, Eric Boom chasing kills, and that's a nice little white there for Miami. Get a little bit of pressure in towards the hill. Badashi running it down with the pistol, and more importantly, the ground pick. They get the four man white, and they keep the spawns. Big Bruce on a bit of a spree to start things off here. Eric Boom toe to toe with Shossi, wins the fight. Pressure now towards the hard points. The Miami Heretics, the light blue arrows on the minimap. The white arrows will be Optic Texas, and so far it's a very clean feed for the Texan team. Oh, this has just been a kill house there. The trades maybe not coming through. Eric Boom able to pick up two, but still those spawns long-term beneficial for Optic. As far as P1 breaks go, I think Texas will be happy for the time they were able to collect. And more importantly, the distance. You already got a player pushed out aggressive in broken. Shotzi, that's the first man that Miami have to get past, and that is always a bad sign. Good news for Eric, though. He's on a four spree, gets that initial kill. Heretics have the opportunity to break. Double back, back into the fight. Almost able to catch down out there on a little cheeky engagement, but the nades are there. The teamwork there for Optic Texas are going to find those kills. Metals now pushing the front line forward, slowed down by a shot seat as Optic once again find themselves in the hard point, and it's the boys of Miami Heretics up the street. And you can see Optic trying to do two things. You're going to have Fred push up in just a moment, or maybe just get gunned off the head. He's lucky, able to shred two. Dashy forced to back down back tractor, and it's going to be lucky for all three. Make that four in a row in the time now collected. A moment that Miami needed, and if lucky can somehow pull off this cruise it'd be great but that entire Woo! team is coming off it they're taking the time right back a lot of damage dealt from eric boom here but it's not going to be a lot of time gained for the miami heretics optic texas walking away with a p1 to p2 now though to the low right hand side of the minimap that's where we're going next and so far so good for the heretics it's going to be an awkward foot race though depending on where the optic players spawn because it was the palace spawns initially for miami but good news for the heretics optics spawn out as well so eric boom gets to collect the time everybody else now reposition deep back in your spawn. I think they're going to have a hike and a half before they can start to contest this hill, but one good break and, well, it's already a 20-point lead. Guns up, ready for the hit now. Miami Heretics. Vehicle has the backline cover, but nobody's home just yet. It's over towards the hard point. Optica in. Couple of kills going either side as now the awkward foot race is over. Optic Texas have walked in and shots. He's taken the point. Oh, this is interesting. Spawn recognition too. You had Metal spawned up and he instantly turned around. Meanwhile, Optic are collecting the time. Metals with that recognition though, able to pick up big kills over by Palace. And if you get the wipe out, which Vehicle does, well, final 20 seconds are going to go your way. So a bit of mixing is there on showers, but Heretics more beneficial for the time. But if spawns weren't interesting before, it's about to turn into chaos on people. Vico finds two in the middle. That's a four spree now for him. We're unable to get Eric Boom's streak completed. And Vico looks to be in a tough spot also. Back over to the middle of the map we now go. The wide open park. Not a lot of cover. Good luck. Have fun trying to hold him to this one. But you have a lot of map presence right now if you're the Heretics. I mean, this is just like your containment job right now that Vico and the Heretics are trying to do. You want to get a couple kills before you can actually make that dash towards time. But Vico finds the moment, gets the timing, and he has found his best friend, that motorcycle. Going to keep him alive until the nade from over top there to take him down. That's maybe five total seconds collected on this hill thus far. P4, an insane one. <laughs> we'll take five. You can make it six. I'll be very happy indeed. Over to Lucky. Still an open hard point, an open field. This vehicle moving that front line forward. Nice work on Kenny. The third man there, though, Shotzi and Fred, help, help out, stop the play. In, in all things considered, this is exactly what Miami wanted. Maybe they wish they could have gotten more hill time, but you've still pinned Optic in the back of the map. You've shut down the A Street. The spawns have never flipped, and Optic will be stuck in Palace on this rotation, which you can see that new hill. It is popping Ooh. all the way across the map. So Heretics, they've slowed the pace down. They have played it patient, and they have set themselves up. It's a 10-point game, but they're going to try to turn this back hill into some money time. We'll see if they can run. It up. Metals on the left hand side. Eric Boom through the middle. The rest of the of the team now for the Heretics in towards the hard point. They've got a great spot to be in. And a bit of a lead now developing. Preds managing to penetrate through the rear. Can he get any kills out of this one? Chasing red dots. Eric Boom the first. Now to the top side of blue. Pred could be a real problem. The damage dealt. Oh, 
find these kills if he can. And the hunt is still on. It's like he's invisible. He's just shooting players in the back. They cannot hunt this man down. Finally, he gets traded. And you have Miami with a nice couple kills in the feed. Eric Boom, by the way, first map on the main stage, 14 and 8. He started off exactly how they needed him to. Showing off in front of his fam with good reason. Over 100 points now we go for the Miami Heretics. Dashy trying to get these boys out of the hard point, but he's left guessing. Nice crossfire there. As Pred into the feed, but immediately traded out. Eric Boom, the pace being set forward. He goes. The trades again. The Heretics teamwork looking good. And now you have Optic just trying to get back in the swing of things, right? A couple bad hills don't exactly go their way, so they're looking to get it back under control. Pred, 15 kills for him. He's making his strike, making his move towards the time, and a team kill there for Miami. Might be the opening to try to put the pressure on, but the contest does not last. Optic break through again and all things considered p1 this has been the best hill optic have had all game well they managed to turn this p1 and p2 into a nice lead to start the game off with now we'll see what happens in the second set dashi creeping on forward red dots all over the place he won't get much of it over towards the hard point we now go lovely tags into lucky an open field for a moment and there we go the pred dashi kenny combo clean up the point optics 14. and while those guys are clearing the point shots he was keeping those rotations under lock and key he catches a player trying to be sneaky over towards p2 so optic are nice and stable maybe another sort of last Dang. ditch effort attempt though you have lucky pushing around going to flank these spawns as well so 40 point game as the hill pops Damn. optic are here first Dang. Well, they're getting all the cutoff kills. And Kenny, what a five spree that is. Comes out of seemingly nowhere. Watch out for the nade. He's at 28 HP. He's looking for one more kill to get that cruise. And if he can get it, that's going to be huge. By the way, the spawn's coming through for Palace for Miami. So we're going to stick with Kenny for a second, but he might have to go and collect that time. So he wants the kills and the objective. His teammate's dying around him, though. He's forced to back down. Kenny. Wants to guarantee the cruise. Kenny. Oh, my God, they kill Kenny. I mean, you got the heretics crawling all over the place. Those bastards are out of control. Now on the rotation, though, Miami, well, they got one player that's out and about. Everybody else is spawning Palace. And even for the final 15 seconds, I'd say Optic happy if they could get it. It's stripped away. This is a back-and-forth battle just for scrap time between these two teams. On the rotation, though, Optic, they are set up. They are clearly here first. Heretics, though, going to be blocking those back spawns. Yeah, totally different look from the first go around. Heretics towards the back line. Metals, does he check the spot that Kenny's in? Nope, no problem. Another member here to deal with. Kenny's on that back line. Vehicle the next man up. Trophy down, no problem. Quick stun check. This is an opportunity for Optic to take the lead back. This is the awareness on point two, right? Vehicle's behind enemy lines, but Kenny, now it's just full hunter mode engaged. He knows he's going to be in the back somewhere, so you tuck yourself into the deep corner. Lucky, though, is going to check it, and Lucky just wins the gunfight, but everybody else loses the kills. So that means Optic might not be spawning close, but they're still just crawling around the hill. Yeah, Heretics have spawned on the other side of the map. We won't be seeing the other three teammates for quite some time, and that's going to be a very safe hard point indeed. A secure 20 seconds now now for the Optic boys, the lead now growing further. And this is utterly destructive too from Optic. The tides have turned, they've got the money hill and they got the setup over towards new. Let's go to a listen and see if they can break him down. Watch out, watch out new, watch out. Listen, watch people, watch people. I can't, 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 I have all the right, okay? So we got your front ice cream, front ice cream. I have so many. So we can't ask you. I'm not even sure. One, one right, one right, lucky. That was him. I'm running up right, running up right. I got it, I got it. Right car, right car, let's Make sure we control the top. Mid to top, mid to top. Left side, mid. One might pitch right, but right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close up, close up all. Close up. Close up, watch out. Close up, watch out. Yeah, watch out. Three, three, three. Last guy, lucky. He could have been right. He could have been right. He could have been right. Right in front of me, lucky. That's the first guy. He went deep knees. He went deep knees. Oh, you're on top. I'm on top. You pick up me. Pick up me. Can we play for lucky? Get our right pitch. Get our right pitch. Can you go DVD? Can you go DVD? I got you. I got you. Left side. I got you. Can you go DVD? Left side top. Left wall. Nice job. Missing lucky. Lucky DVD. Lucky DVD. One shot. I'll run at him. Run at him. Run at him. You should give the left side. I'm back to the gas. I'm back to the gas. I'm back to the gas. We're going to the gas. I'm all right. I need you. I need you. I'm blocking. Who was it? One of these back up. Yes. Now you should say. Okay. I'll get you. Come back. Come back. Bruce, back it up. I got time. Say it. Say it. Say it. I got it. I'm blocking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go one right, front left, front left. Turn on. Oh, I'm sure. 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 I
It's a vintage look from Shotzi here as the movement is there. The angles are difficult to predict and the comms are great. And the trigger discipline may be even better. Optic have hit their flow state. These have been a disruptive three hills in a row. Miami desperate to break it down as soon as it gets to the back line. It's Big Bruce you got to deal with. That is a five spree. The anchor keeping these heretics away. Holding them down, holding them at bay. Pred finds a team kill for now, but Dashi. Ooh, one bullet away from finding a streak. I think it surely has one. So Bruce is looking fine so far. 228 to the 139 of the Miami Heretics. They are looking to control the middle of the map. Third set of hard points now on us. I mean, look, the third set's going to be have to be different for Miami. They had an opportunity on the first set of rotations, could not convert it to enough time. Optic then took control of the game, and thus far, they have not looked back in the feed. It is still more Optic kills being collected. The time, though, in the hands of the Heretics. But if you're Optic, you just want to slow the pace down. You can play for the kills, and the rotation will just fall into your lap. Eric Boom in the hard point. 23 and 23. He has been slowed down somewhat. But the Heretics still in control, fighting for their lives here in the center of the map. Can they get any more time out of this life? Eric Boom back at it. Nice work there from Lucky in the back line. Beautiful turn. One more bullet on the Pred would have seen it happen. The trade should be here as this hard point is not over yet. And the Heretics have the top left hand side covered as well. I mean, you just have to like go for the contest as well. This scrap time is going to put Optic just an inch away from winning this game. Then a break on P2. We already saw it. Big Bruce. He's got the cruise missile. That is a guarantee. At least one kill on the time. Maybe for Optic though, not too many players in position to play cleanup crew, but their shots for the first blood. There's the cruise missile for the second. It's one guy back tracker and lucky all up to them. They're holding the line. The Miami Heretics not letting go, but it's still five seconds for the win. Kenny through the front, taking care of. Time to the Heretics once again. Shotzi alone now, finds a pick, and forward he goes. You have to look at the spawns. I mean, number four medals is trying to read it, but you can't get the gunny. Now it's Optic all about the swarm. Last man on the hill is going to be lucky. Does he have enough help? The answer is no. Pred can't quite get to the time, but Shotzi is here. 248, 249, and game. A spicy spawn towards the end of the game certainly helps Optic Texas secure the victory, but I feel like chance the win was found halfway through the second set of hard points. That 165, the Heretics unable to muster the strength to continue the run on invasion. It just started to get away from them. The kills department, everyone slowed down in the production, and it was just too tough to keep up. I mean, yeah, Optic just had too much firepower. Metals like his damage was actually there right with the rest of the lobby, but the kills were just not. 16 and 33 is a pain point. 17 assists means he was getting everybody weak. The teamwork was there, but you are just getting ever so slightly outgunned. And we even saw it on how the Hills played out. The first of rotations, Miami won the rotation of showers, kept Optic pin in the back spawns on the P4. You get the rotation over to back blue. They did everything right. Optic were just a little bit better about stripping away the time, winning those extra gunfights, making those breaks. And then the second go around, Optic had the exact same thing. They had the showers hill. They were keeping Miami pinned in the back of Palace spawn, and instead of just getting 100 points off, the Optic just blew the lead wide open. So the gunny right now from Optic Texas on point. Smoking hot, as we will see across our highlights here. Miami Heretics, you know, it was a solid start, not enough to keep the race going. We'll see if they can find some success in the upcoming Search and Destroy. We're going to Rio for that one, I do believe, and Lucky. The man on the screen was some great plays from everyone, but again, it was just the firepower and the staying power from Optic Texas, the stamina to keep rolling through the invasion. In, Actually, so if you're like down 10 points after winning that rotation of showers, it really just is a feels bad moment. So that is just a few very key gunfights at the start of that hill popping that if they go a different way, the game will play out in a different capacity. But Optic basically were just biding their time, playing a little bit safe. And as soon as they got control of the game, again, they simply never looked back. Uh, not at all. Again, highlights. Eric Boom with a strong start with certain silence towards the end. And again, we've got ourselves a search and destroy coming up, Chance. This has been a, a strong point for us, but again, a lot of very, very close games, especially those game fives. We'll see if they can keep up the pace and keep up the run here in the series. Sitting 2-0, going into the control will be ideal for them. And maybe good news from Optic fans. You talk about how they've had a few slow starts in the online stages. I'm watching guys like Kenny basically barking in the comm, snapping with every kill they were getting. So they brought the energy to the table. No slow starts today. They got the ball rolling exactly how they needed to. Because again, we already know Heretic's not a team you want to get jumping.
Well, job done there on Invasion. Here you can take a look at the game flow again. It was simply a moment of Miami played incredibly well. As soon as that P2 came through, though, that was the moment where Kenny starts going on that spree. Basically, the execution moment. They never look back. We see that a few times in Invasion, where it's one spree that just seems to break the confidence or break the back of the losing team in the end. You can always pin it down to that singular moment. The momentum shift and just sort of the overwhelming style of gameplay we see on Invasion. It's so hard for teams to come back. Well, we say goodbye to Invasion. We say hello to Rio now. Search and destroy coming up next. Karachi control for that map three. And we've had our fair share of crazy moments on Karachi so far in the year. And no doubt we're going to get a couple more in this series. But Rio up first. And a necessity, I would have to imagine, for Miami to win, because you talked about the Karachi and even the map four. Optic do have a sizable yeah. advantage on those two maps. Karachi can get interesting. Heretics have beat them on it before, but it is the Rio. A 1-0 record from Optic, an 0-1 record for Miami, which means you basically know nothing, Jon Snow. No intel you can read. You can't watch over VOD and really glean any amount of information, especially on a map that we've already seen. The pace slows down when you go to land, and when we've seen the best teams in the game on this map even on the online stages it can be very slow a lot of bouncing back and forth between bomb sites it is an insane degree of those mid-round adjustments whatever team has done the better homework here on rio more prepared for the day will come out on top well we can look at homework we can also look at the s d stats coming into this matchup between the heretics and optic texas and again these are the s d metrics just from the major two qualifiers a little stronger it has to be said chance for the boys of optic but again today we'll find out whose comms are better and who's playing hot and you can also see a key point here for miami as well their conversion rate when they're getting the first bloods pretty fantastic 80 percent means they are executing when they get that advantage being 12th over Overall, though, for actually getting the first bloods has been a major pain point. So open engagements on Rio going to be key from Heretics. And again, the way this map seems to play is, I know initially it's a lot of just bang the middle of the map out, hit those four mans over towards that B site. But as the year has developed and we see more re and S and D, it's spreading the map. It's playing for picks and then it is grouping together as a squad and just bouncing back and forth using the middle map as really just a point of rotation. So you can see Optic, they're not running it down. They're going to take their time, play for picks, and then again, the teamwork is going to kick in. It looks nothing like most ranked gameplay. 50,000 people used to live in the middle of that map. And now it's a ghost town. That nade will be the only thing to start this map off. And this is an interesting decision for Shati too. He is the only player on both teams in the middle of the map, but yep, he's done his thing. He's cleared it out, realizes they're nothing, and he's gonna get the bomb down. In the meantime, though, Kenny has fallen. So main advantage here for Heretics. This is the first blood they were looking for. Dash is about to run into a whole lot of trouble. One, nearly two. Eric Boom, though, stays strong. Man advantage still to the Miami Heretics. And now you got just again, corners up, Shati. He's reading the pressure. Two players right in front of them. They line up. He knocks him down. And poor Vikul, oh, now no. he's chasing a ghost whose name is Shati. That is your nightmare scenario, but he gets the 1v1. Now it's a 1v1. 15 seconds for Shotzi. As he now makes his move. He's checked the middle of the map, and I don't believe it. We've not seen a thing. Vikul, oh, fires his gun. It's not going to be enough. The kill, maybe not, but the bomb. There's no hope. Shotzi stays alive, and a little bit of COD magic goes his way. And what a heads up, high IQ play call from Shotzi, not just to get the bomb down. He had no team support to actually go for that plan, but his spotty senses were tingling. There was nobody home. He doesn't waste any time. And then Dashi's rampant in the callouts. Hey, we saw three players this direction. Shotzi reads the pressure, knows the rat back is coming through, puts himself in the perfect corner. Shotzi, the menace on the map. Tough to deal with indeed. The first man into the round to really make anything happen. The last man out. Let's see what happens this time with the Miami Heretics on attack. Much more stock standard approach is what you would expect with Optic there for the fight as well. The trophies are down. The noise has been made. And here we go. It could be a three-man hit up the stairs. These trophies are putting in over time, but Metals is at least pushed up and got in position. You're not playing for the bomb plant yet. You want these initial kills. A slide. Oh, Eric Boom cuts Shotzi into pieces. He's not going to take that next fight. He's going to sit pretty now and wait for his boys to show up. And this is patient play as well, waiting for the next kills to come through. Metals dancing with the devil. Two players, Eskies, here they come. Can he get the trade? You can. We're lucky for two. All of a sudden, Pred finds himself in a one versus two. Pops Deddy, he's looking to make the play. And now the young Australian goes on the hunt. Vico reads it. 
And the Heretics bounce back. What an explosive round from them. Yeah, heads up, Javi. We have Shotzi making those reads in round one. Vehicle does the exact same in the final one. Intel was on point, and I think some credit to Eric Boom, too. He throws that shoulder after getting the first blood. Preds the man he sees right street. That's what Vehicle picks up in the end. So comms there flowing for Miami. You are two for two on the first blood front. Obviously, with the plays that Shotzi makes, evens the odds up. I didn't see too many trophies there on the side of Optic, which might make the, uh, the B attack a little bit trickier. So they're spreading the map again, playing for picks. Ow. Stun, check, connect. This time round, the middle of the map is covered in Heretics players, and it looks like they've managed to evict Optic from the central building. And this is such an uncomfortable situation. You have zero map control. You've lost the middle of the map, so you got to reposition, pick a different direction. But for the moment, Optic not grouped together. Kenny feeling out a little bit of pressure, doesn't check the corner in another first blood for Miami. Fred backs up once again, expecting this push now from the Heretics, but those blue arrows are not going anywhere. They've got what they've got, and they're holding it. Lucky back at it on the forklift. Here comes the team challenge. Metals throws a shoulder spot, so he's one. This should now spring the Heretics to life. It does, Lucky with two. And now Dashi finds himself in a 1v4. He'll take one with him, but it's another good round from the Heretics. Yeah, that is absolutely beautiful coming out of Miami. I think Lucky might be picking up a couple different freebie two pieces as Optic always looking at somebody else. Metals from boxes, immediate chow the first time. When Lucky's calling out, Kenny's pushing, it's a freebie. Second time makes the adjustment, knows more players are gonna be nearby. He draws the attention but doesn't get aggro himself. The patient's there on point, and not only are they three for three on the first blood front, Lucky, he's on a four. Six will get him a cruise missile, which on this map is very is handy. Safe. Well, we're leaving the bomb in spawn. Whether that's a choice or not, not be cool. No, okay, maybe Eric Blue. Oh, someone's going to go back and get it. But in the meantime, the rest of the boys, again, forward push, hold what you got. That's a cheeky strat too. Everybody looking for those nades because you see the position that Dashi loves to play. He's always there on the mini map, but reads it perfectly to not go out if he doesn't have a trophy. So Whoa. Optic ahead of the game, but Pred a little too slow. Bullets in his back. Move a little bit faster than your feet. Another first blood for Miami. Lucky again with shoulders. Spot out. Dashy damage, but here comes Shotzi for the kill. That's what you don't expect. Can Lucky stay alive? This is unbelievable. Anyone to help out now? Nah, Shotzi too fast. Eric Boom gets there late. The trade's good though. It gives Miami Heretics the advantage. No cruise, but you'll take the kills. Metal's in a very dicey spot. He's got the intel, gives away the tech, but now you can get the bomb down. A pure three versus two, and you know you have to be worried about that A streak flank. They only know it's one player, but maybe from Optic, Kenny and Dashi, at least they're working together. And they're holding hands right now, so you're going to expect a lot of noise as they approach that bomb site. There's the split. Dashi, the first man in. Vehicle's in trouble. Whoa, he takes care of Kenny on the back line. Oh, but Dashi stays alive upstairs. 2v1 for a moment. And the Heretics' numbers prevail. Those trades are on point. And smiles on their faces in Miami, maybe getting a little bit more comfortable. We saw the stats throughout the stage. They were the worst team in the game in Search and Destroy when it comes to First Bloods. Here on Rio, perfect. Five for five for the moment. And again, this is a map with very little intel on either team. But Miami right now on point. Kenny and Pred still sitting on donuts. Yeah, double donuts for the new boys there on Optic Texas so far here on Rio. Plenty of time to right that wrong. But for now, Vehicle cooks it, throws it, and a trophy eats it. Yeah, double donut, also known as an octane, but in the middle of this, of course, <laughs> the site. Optic, once again, they have complete control over mid, and Chanti doesn't waste any time, no need to. Goes for the bomb plan, so Miami have completely given this up. They are trusting their retake abilities here on Rio. It's shades of the first round. This time, I think they might be a little faster in shots. He's doing something different as well. Laying prone by the bomb site here. Miami lining up for the hit. There's the check. Frags are out, flush these two players out of position, straight into the jaws of Shotzi. Catches one, 3v4. Yeah, Lucky evens up the odds, but it is trades going down on the other side of the map. Eagle tries to make a play, he gets caught. A nice read on the pressure here from Dashi. 15 seconds left on the clock for Miami, and I think we just witnessed a round. That'll be the last time they give up the B site for free. And that was a fantastic hold from Optic Texas. Shotzi with a big reposition. He stays on the bomb site. He manages to maintain complete control of that stairwell. 
whether it was the nade forcing metals out into the plague takes care of him the nade keeps that space safe great job from those boys controlling this area and that really is an interesting decision from heretics like when they play invasion they'll give up like the b site for free consistently because they trust the retakes but they did not have a good look there Shati and Dashi right now, 2v4ing, but it's only one round game. <laughs> 2v4. It's, yeah, that's close enough. Well, here we go. Attacking round Heretics. And Shotzi is moving. Well, here's the nades on Dashi again. They were looking for the triple the last time around. You see it at least backs them down. So they are really trying to pick Bruce off. Not successful. And now Metal's in a corner. Able to slide away in the nick of time. Brett can't quite hunt him down, but the nades do. It is a trade, though, for the 3v3. Eric Boom has been on point on the bridge. Kenny from the dance, the breadstick, looking to find himself too. That player is out. Safe for now, 3v3. Oh, here comes Eric Boom. He's in between all three members. Yeah, a little bit too aggressive in the grouping there from Optic. Reigns supreme. But maybe a square up right now down this outer street. Miami trying to win the rotation battle and see if they can catch a player. But Optic, for the moment, they are rotating together. Shati leading the charge. And they've all gone to A. They've left the B-bomb site wide open. And Heretics, again, what time do you commit to the plant? Now Optic in a position to rebound towards that B-bomb site. Dashi will be the tip of the spear on this approach. 25 on the clock. And Dash is just going to keep him guessing two different directions. The pinch is going to come in. And if you plant the bomb, you are going to get caught. Shati being sent in for the kill. Here we go. The pinch is now on. Dash is the top of the escalators. There's the first, and it's going to be a clean up. It's Big Bruce. He's on a five. One more kill. Nets in the cruise missile this time. Ten and four for Dashi. And just super simple decisions again. After the opening salvo comes out, Dashi's saying, hey, man, three nades landed at my feet. There's a lot of pressure over towards the bridge. Everybody gets grouped up together, and optics start to make the plays. Leaving the late flanker behind, and Dashi, as soon as he gets the comms, gets sent in for the kill. That is a beautiful bounce back round again there from Optic. Tie up the odds. Dashi a kill away from a cruise. In Miami, it has been much more painful when they're not getting these first bloods. Oh, indeed. Well, all square at 3-3. Three, three. And look, they did not want to give up the B-side again. That is a nice <laughs> little mid-map stack, but unfortunately for them, nobody's home. Chossie got eyes on that, I do believe, and he's pulled that bomb right back. Dashi on the quick reposition towards that far right-hand side flank. You're looking towards the A-bomb site. The heretics are nowhere to be seen. Well, yeah, Kenny's calling out right now. I don't see anything. Nobody's on the back wall. I'm not sure if anybody's going to be boxes, but the nades clear out the back. Smoke's route. Get this bomb down. And that's going to be a plan. I don't think anyone from the heretics is going to check it. And Pred, oh, he might be able to get on the board here. He's in a sweet spot. Able to catch these players on the push. He can hear them. Pred springs to life. Oh, yeah, he's still in a donut. Only for the first blood, though. Shotzi, they have to know he's in garage, but Shotzi, if he kicks open the doors, maybe can make the play, but you wait too long. Air Broom gonna break it down. This will be a 2v4. Shotzi has to do it himself. Can I get the third? Wow, a kill that wasn't a metals. This is for the ace. The bad news for him, though, is he hasn't got a huge amount of time, and Eric Boom is taking the 200 IQ play and defused the bomb. The Heretics take the lead. Yeah, if I'm playing against Shotzi, I end up in a 1v1 in a situation like that. I'm not playing for the kill. I'm hopping the bomb and praying. And what's a prayer for a non-believer? Doesn't matter. Still gets answered. Heretics with a nice bounce back round, but that is, that is dicey. He keeps the streak alive as well. So on a five spree now for Shotzi, that's going to be an issue in a moment. Lucky with bomb in hand now. Heretics on attack. Can they keep the momentum going? Shotzi, though, looking for that cruise. He might be able to get it right here and now. Oh, this is great present. Shotzi's able to call out, hey, there was nothing down the street. It's only one guy that showed face. And you already have number five. Kenny's calling out, there's nothing A either. So you get a ton of map control from Optic. This is sit and wait for the comms to come through before you jump and make a play. Because Shotzi basically owns half the map. If Eric Boom wins the gunfight, that changes everything. Bomb now moving towards A. Kenny with the first blood. That's going to be the pressure moment, too. Number two, if he wants to push through Garage, you got Dashi looking over Ken as well. Man, disadvantage. Nice win there from Pred. Redemption for him by the boxes. Flying forward. Shotzi in the flank. That's the sixth kill. That's going to be streaks all down to Lucky as we are going to four to four. Once again, Optic bounce back. In that's a defensive setup there from Optic where you're feeling amazing at the start of that round. As soon as Shotzi gets up to like past the bridge, gets that mid-map control, both your ARs on the wings of the map, it's the comfy setup. You just have to execute after the fact. 
Optic deliver. Not for Miami, honestly. I feel like it's the creativity on the defensive end that might be the difference maker. Miami, they've had a couple different stacks. They've spread the map a little bit. They tried to dominate the middle of the map. They've given it up completely. They're mixing things up, but they got to make sure they're on point here is Optic maybe a, a nice little 2-2 split. Opening up some doors, and I think that's just for a fake. That's to, like, me like mess with information long term. Dagan's coming through. Dashy not prepared, but Kenny is. Gives you the extra odds. Kenny with two. Shots, he's looking to close it out here. He only finds one into Lucky, but he knows the vehicle is trapped on the inside of Garage. Nades might be able to get the job done, as he is in trouble now here in this 1v3. I mean, this is just absurd. Fred finds the best corners. He loves his corners. It's going to be free because he is the best corners. There you go. Optic Texas. They get the win. That's a big win. That's map point. And that's one cruise down. Lethal execution there from Optic Texas. Not a hope in hell for the Heretics. Especially after Kenny's two-piece. That was very, very good timing. I mean, it really did look like Dashy got caught completely off guard in the middle of the YY. Kenny, though, the YY merchant <laughs> ready to make up for past sins and delivers death towards two. Map point from Optic and a 2-0 advantage with the two upcoming maps is massive. Miami Heretics, you got to dig deep. Here we go. Lucky once again with the bomb. The Heretics looking towards that B bomb site hit once again. Nades are out. Pred first blood. He's gone from 0-6 to 3-6. Speaking of 6, it's shots. He's still on the spree. Can the Heretics find a kill here? Ah, uh, he's hunting. You get the hard stun. You go get that free kill. Four versus two now from Optic. Just going to seal the deal with dominance. <clears throat> nice little tear there on Rio. Optic Texas wasting no time on the deck. They tear the Heretics apart in the final pieces of Rio there. My goodness. Things were looking very, very strong. But a 6-4 finish is what we'll see here, and that's a 2-0 lead in the series. The Heretics struggle streak continues. We'll see if they can bounce back, but that Rio chance, that was a good look for Optic Texas. Some nice new positions, great nade spots. It all worked out for him there. And those last two rounds, disgusting. Yeah, that's also 22-9 and nine there from Shotzi and Dashi. And all things considered, a lot of these rounds actually did come down to sort of those first blood fights. Even when Miami was getting the first bloods in the final round, Kenny picks up two and the trades just go the advantage towards Optic. The biggest round of that game, quite literally, might have been Round number one, where Miami get the first blood and Shotzi just pieces you up. I mean, those are superstar plays coming through. That is absurdity from that young man, MVP caliber, just the expectation at this point. But from Optic, it was the first half of the series that for them, probably going to be a bit more difficult. Karachi Control, they are one of the best control teams in the game. Karachi is a map they love and sub base. I mean, these guys are destructive. So Optic, they have set themselves up perfectly now in the series. Well, we could be seeing a 3-0 if the stats go their way. But so far, a very strong showing from Optic Texas here in our series. Miami Heretics, time to dig deep and try to push themselves towards that game four. We'll find out how that game four goes after this very quick commercial break. It's 2-0 with Optic Texas in the lead. This is the CDL. up your competition with the executive chef operator now available in game in the call of duty store upgrade your game with a scuff save 30 dollars on the official cdl collection at scuff.co slash cdl get better with the scuff the first performance gaming controller visit scuff.co slash cdl to change your game Such a beautiful play, man, which will now lead to Optic Texas taking the lead with only 24 wow. seconds left. That's such a great heads up play, great teamwork on full display, great trust. But he's nowhere near. Wait a second, Vivid may have held this long enough. The pistol's out and Lucky, two in a row. So it all falls into the hands of Lucky. What can he try to get done? You get it done by yourself. This guy's taking over, man. What's that? Is this 14 yeah. already? Jesus. I know it. 
race was going to favor over to Seattle Surge, but it's just been a multi-kill or somebody going beast mode. It's, oh, it's Gio four. who kills the entire squad. He is lighted up. Give him more. Papa's hungry. Cell will be able to kind of avoid this. Yeah, there's a tag on it, but Sith can see it. Cell damage comes through. Time is an issue. Oh my goodness. Here we go again. Finally, the kill comes out. Does he get on in time? Oh, oh no. Nice. Five in a row. Saves the round and gets us locked in at two. Domicon gets it done. Lock in, fans. Does he get timing again? Oh, sure does. He finds Hydra. Red went one for one, but the trades are decent. We're going to go 2v2 early. Does he catch the timing? Doors pop. There's the first. Skies tries the battle. Back. Not going to happen. Optic take the round 11. Woo wee. That's how you get it done if you are Optic Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Call of Duty League. We're really close to that map number three. We're going to play another game of control, this time on Karachi. It's Miles and Chance ready to rock and roll through Optic Texas, taking on Miami Heretics. And so far, Optic Texas looking very good. It's a 2-0. I, at this point, I'm genuinely just scared of Shati. It seems like every single map, he is getting the most impactful kills that we are going to see. He's the playmaker. He's got the high IQ plays. He reads the flanks. He gets into positions. He's got the trigger discipline. The dude literally does everything, in my opinion, the MVP of map number two as well. So we're going to Karachi, maybe a map that could turn into his playground, and obviously a map where Optic as a whole, they've been electric. Control, yeah. their best game mode by far. Oh, by a long way. Uh, it's going to be disgusting. We'll see how that goes. We're on the absolute corner of that one ready to rock and roll but folks thanks for tuning in thanks for the guys in the venue as well it's been a great day so far still got a match to go later on today it's not over yet boys and girls hope you're comfortable it is now time to delve into map number three the heretics taking on optic texas crutchy control and the heretics still searching for their first map win on land as well they're knocking on the devil's door but they cannot quite get it done they have beaten optic on this map but obviously that was back in january optic have certainly been been making improvements since then. Their control has been absurd. Heretics got to find something special. You need to pop off potential. They had a splash of it in map number one. They're going to need a whole ocean here in map three. Towards the B zone, we go for the Heretics here on attack. They got players in A as well. And it's a messy, explosive start to the round. No one able to drop just yet. Eric Boone with the smooth moves, potentially looking at a couple of kills here. But for now, happy to take that very slow capture towards A. One segment down, two to go. Yeah, almost playing it like a round of s and Trying to get the players in position. Finally, the first bloods roll through, though. Shati does get traded, but it is trades all over the place. Metals, last man standing, and he's at least done his job. He's going to be annoying. Drag some pressure over towards B, and well, that thorn in the optic side will continue. The Floodgates are open. They have made their way towards this zone. How many more players can they get on the inside? Shotzi's tagged. Metals with a suppressive fire. Three kills to them. Nothing so far. Here comes Dashi. Kenny. He and Pred. They managed to take care of business there. That's a lot of work done on B, but not able to get to that little marker. You have to complete the segment. Otherwise, the progress isn't safe. Well, you just need the kills as well, and they're not going to get any of them. Oh, no. They got picked apart. Optic gives Swarm in the retake on the B zone. Done to perfection. The small window of opportunity Miami had just gets slowed down and slammed in their faces. Dashi right now. I mean, this is easy. 
easy pickings. Four more. Maybe Eric Boom, rival nine. The Ray Gun, indeed. The Ray Gun, indeed. He gets zapped out of that one. But still, Optic have done what they can to make B as safe as possible. There's less than 30 seconds to play. Shotzi's about to go on a worldwide tour of Karachi now and try and take through these players in the back line. A, though, slow cap. Two members now on it. It should go a lot faster. Ah. Shotzi's causing problems. This is an issue. But the second segment of A is gone. He's challenging like that. That is a terrible sign. Now Eric Boom is spawning up and running backwards to try to help out his teammates. Shotzi going on absolute routes. Everybody is top third. Good news is, though, because Shotzi actually goes on this flank, the close strong spawns are going to be wide open. And now Miami can turn this into maybe two over Ooh. towards the B zone. They go. It's happening, boys and girls. Everybody strap in. We're going to get in towards B. We're going to find a table and enjoy the fine culinary delights of that cafe. All three members now of the Heretics holding on to this on Second segment out the window. Optic have got to send it. And I don't think anyone's even to get close enough. That is the round. That is my ranked play teammates blackout moment of the day. I hate when it happens and Shotzi shows it off there. He does everything right. He guns the player up top and then he pushes out the wrong spawn and just gives Heretics the close one. If his team had actually gotten the players off the A zone, he could have just laid devastation from top three. But the second they lost it, well, the round follows in suit. So you just outslay by a pretty sizable amount. Heretics will take it. They needed that round. Oh, yeah, that was good. Well, can they do it twice more? Defending round now for the Heretics. They've got to hold on. It's a 2-2 split now for the boys of Optic. Eric Boom, though, throws an absolute peach downtown against Shotzi. Yeah, now Metals and Vickle, though, have their work cut out for him. A couple players made it way towards the B zone. Metals in the back alley. Not the gun you want in that moment. Dash is going to gun him down, and this B zone already open. Two players on point. You lose top red control, and you might just lose this zone. It is the triple stack in from Optic. Maybe Dash wants the kills first, but they are still firmly under control. Optic already said, hold my can. A monster, baby. They are slain so far. Back door. Shotzi flies out into at least one. Kenny still on the point, and B is gone. Two minutes and 13 to take A. Uh, just like that, you lose one gunfight on the B zone and Optic make it look easy. Flying off the point to get this done, and they have already got the pressure on A as well. Dashy looking from top red. Well, you're simply never going barrels. Alley trying to go somewhere else. Ken going to pick you apart in Miami Heretics. Desperate for a kill. Oh, yeah, it's not getting any better. Big Bruce is frying. Here comes Pred. Oh, it's nearly all four shots. He dip a toe, baby. We love it. That's all four in the point. The stack complete. I know those Cold War Optic fans. True PTSD about all those times where Optic needed to stack the point. Guys, look, it only took a couple of years, but they've learned how to do it. That also, by the way, that might be one of the fastest rounds of control we have seen this year. There was basically no time wasted. That was the opening break. Pays off perfectly there from Optic, and they didn't stack the B zone necessarily quite as hard, but still got it done towards the end. There's Kenny on a four spree. The only reason Heretics even got round number one was Optic dropped the ball, but they made up that for that mistake instantly, and now I'm a little bit scared. Don't be afraid, Chance. Heretics are attacking this time round. Will they have the same blessings that were bestowed upon them and they took advantage of with a plomb in that first round? Eric Boom dodges the stun, and now Kenny. An awkward gunfight. Lovely crossfire there. Lucky is getting the job done on A. One segment down. Yeah, here comes the flank, though. Shotzi wins the gunfight, gets traded out, but that is sort of that opening. Nobody on the zone now, so the top goes to ticking. At least no crews there from Ken, and you already see guys like Metals number four. He's playing under the dumpster. So Optic have to respond and get some of these kills, and they respond perfectly. Shotzi reads the corner. This is light work right now on Karachi. Three members of Optic now trying to hit the backside of the spawn. Now Eric Boom doing the best he can to make sure his spawn is safe, and that's going to be a tough one. Dashy still in the back line there, causing issues. So there's now a couple of problems to deal with. On A, we now sit, though. Lucky once again going back to it. Keep the stop on the clock. And Shotzi found the route once again, but he's going incredibly distant. He's over by Coop. He's doing smooth moves to jump up pop as well. It only gets you one, but Shotzi, Heretics, they're going to have no idea how he just pulled that off. There's an aid. The contest. And the kill. Fred's in there. Can't quite get the second. You're going to be able to finish up A. No problem right now for the Heretics. If you can take care of Shotzi and transition immediately to B, that could be something. But damn, what a kill that was. 12 and 6. 12 and 7. Yeah, never a fun thing where the sentence is, if you take care of Shotzi, you see even in moments like that, nearly impossible to kill. Dashi, big moment. If he gets that kill, the spawn out commences. Eric Boom wins a massive one-on-one -on -one gunfight. 
Can't keep it going, though. Pred up top. The next man they're going to have to weed out. Right now, everybody off spawn from Optic, filling in in the exact right spots, even ready for the potential flank if Eagle wants to go for it. For the moment, Shotzi reading the pressure. Optic keeping everything contained. Everyone there on the Heretics have spread out across the map, so there's an opportunity for Vehicle to go pretty large here. But sadly, Pred has made the perfect read. They're able to count the heads of those Miami Heretics players on the approach. Pred gets one. Kenny gets his. And that's Vehicle taken care of as well. So that's a three down for now, technically. We're going to go back to spawn now. You've still got a minute to play. Heretics aren't out of this yet. And that's also Optic showing off the conveyor belt system perfectly. Every single player in order of where they spawn knows exactly where they have to go. But now weird timing with the spawns out. Air Boom has gotten towards the back, but maybe it does last for a decent bit of time. Thought the nade would connect it, but if the nade doesn't, Ken does. He falls as well. And from Heretics, you are simply back to square one. Optic right now. Now, playing like a mechanic, everything is in order. And Kenny will not leave that B zone no matter what. He's keeping an iron grip on that one. Pred's got the middle of the map covered. Hip fire there. Takes care of equal. A second. 20 seconds to go on the round. Nice little roar of dead in the comms as well from Pred. Ken might fall, but there's always someone to pick it back up. Pred nearby. And with 12 seconds on the clock, they're playing it slow, giving Pred time to reposition. Eight seconds, maybe a flood in the oh, dead. He is trolling. He is coming and screaming. Pred feasting right now on Karachi. A big round from Optic Texas. A very large deficit in the life count as well. So should segment captures come into play, which at this point in time, I don't know about that one, but both Dashi and Pred having a fantastic map so far. A 13 and 9 for Dashi. Fred sitting at 12 and 9 as well. I mean, their teamwork is pretty on point as well. They've had one small mistake in this game that might have cost them a round, but everything else is done nearly perfectly. The fundamentals completely on point. The decision making and the timings as good as it gets on Karachi control. One round away to seal the deal and add another 3-0 to the belt. Here we go. Can Optic close out on an attacking round with the Heretics? Will they be able to hold fast here? Fred's already got the high ground, that's an issue. Capturing A slowly but surely, Shotzi now going on a bit of a run. No need, Fred's still there in the feed as the young Australian has sprung to life. Well, one big kill on the flank though, at least gets him off the A zone. Shotzi gets shut down as well, trying to be annoying over towards B. So a moment right now of stabilization Ooh. for the Heretics is Optic yet to get back on this zone, but they got the power positions, you still get top three. You see Shotzi has made his way back to the point. Nice little setup, very difficult to break down. Oh, lovely work again out of the Heretics. Metal's unlucky finding their kills. Mid-map, not that much safer. But Dashi continues to be a big old turret up here. Oh, nice work out of Lucky. The headshots are there. Kenny cleans up mid on the map. Second segment of A, long gone. That's the crossfire. A should be done. Yeah, you get the stack too. So right six is going to bump five off the time. That means Kenny can fly forward and work with Dashi over towards this zone. Shots might not be on point for number one, but he's coming towards Dashi. Metal's by himself, has to slow him down because the flank is coming through too. Three players right now of Optic are swarming around this time. Optic have the numbers. Can they get the damage now? Oh, that teamwork there. Dashi plays it perfectly now. It's got an opportunity to get on towards the B zone. It's a two-man stack in a moment, and that could be game. Heretics, last chance now to stay alive in the series. I mean, teamwork like that, that is what dreams are made of. It is players nearby. It is Pred gets some roam. The kill feed is falling. Last man is medals. He can't get it done. Optic looking perfect on the day. And that is that the 3-0 is complete. Not so much with a bang, but a whimper is a slow and steady capture. 3-1 in control, 3-0 in the series. Optic Texas with nothing but confidence as they march on in the tournament. And I think Pred might be a Tool fan. He does not have a short memory. He has flashbacks of Vehicle shining off the 3-0, and well, that might be a pain point of regret for Miami. Back to back now, six maps in a row. They have taken Heretics down on and Pred a clean performance as is across the board there from Optic. That is some of the best teamwork that honestly at this point we come to expect from this squad, but they are showing off the goods today. Yeah, very, very strong show in there from the Optic boys. Happy indeed. Of course, Karma and JP coming up to congratulate them on the victory. We'll see what happens in a brief moment for them. And again, they march forward in the tournament. They'll keep their run going. Heretics will drop down to the lower bracket. One 
some chance left now in the tournament to get some wins on the map, but also to see if they can keep themselves alive in their very own major. Exciting stuff there is another 3-0 under the belt for the boys in green. And they might have been ever so slightly tested on Rio, but outside of that, an effectively flawless performance. Kicking off their tournament right and a team that is needed to be clutched throughout the stage. Well, the dominance finally makes a, a nice little guest appearance on land. And again, we saw it literally right from the jump. The boys in the comms coming out hot as well. But credit where credit is due, right? I'm seeing Dash with nine assists on top of the 16 kills. Him and Kenny's team work together there towards the end. Again, that is what dreams are made of. It's one thing that, you know, both be hitting the back alley for that one player Dashy just to pump the brakes and stop. Let the play breathe. Don't have to hit that left stick. It takes a lot of control to do that. Shout out to Bruce. His game has changed immensely over the years he's been in the CDL and he's really starting to shine and that's saying something. 251, 645, one, it is done. Three to nothing. Optic Texas walking over with a big win there. Chance. Massive surprise. And what you got? You got anything else? Anything else? Uh, nothing else. Again, they came out and took care of business. All about it. And well, now time to relax and get ready to take the day off tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we've got our Monster Energy Victory Spotlight up on the stage. Guy Blaze joins Pred. Thank you so much, Miles. Miami, show some love to Pred and Optic Texas as they make it to Saturday in the upper bracket. Pred.